Hi there and welcome to this Two Minute Tips video and today we're going to look at the Nikon RAW compression and bit depth functionality in the Z series cameras. In the previous video we looked at the image quality um, settings which in the context of the Nikon cameras means the format that you're going to save um, the image. We, co we covered JPEG and TIFF images and in this video we're going to look at the Nikon RAW NEF format. And now these are in effect digital negatives, they record the output from each pixel but there are a couple of different settings that we can choose to um, adjust the compression and the bit depth of those RAW files. Now to set this up, you go into the photo shooting menu. We obviously have to go down to image quality first, the fifth one down, and select one of the NEF RAW image options. You then come out of there and go down a couple more options and you can find the NEF RAW recording option. And within here, you've got two further options. You've got NEF RAW compression and NEF RAW bit depth. So let's start with NEF RAW compression. And this is where you decide how much and what type of compression you want carried out on the RAW file. You've got three options in here. You've got on lossless compressed. And this is where the camera will use a reversible algorithm, so a non-destructive algorithm, um, to compress the um, RAW file. Um, and in doing this, it will reduce the file size by, by about 20 to 40 percent, Nikon say, depending on obviously the range of colors and the amount of compression that can be done. And this will have no effect on image quality because it's a reversible algorithm, so it can be reversed without the loss of any data. The next option down is um, compression on, but it's compressed and it's a lossy compression in effect. So it uses a non-reversible algorithm. Now the benefit of this is it can reduce the file size by a greater amount, so Nikon say between 35 and 55 percent, and Nikon say it has virtually no effect on image quality. Finally you've got uncompressed where there is no compression um, on the image size. So that setting affects the level and type of compression. If we come down now to NEF RAW bit depth, this is where you can decide the depth of color data that is recorded. And you've got two options. You've got 12-bit or 14-bit. 12-bit allows the camera to record each of the R, G and B channels to a level of 4096 different levels or shades of each color. 14-bit multiplies that by 4, so you can have up to 16,384 levels of each of the channels. So what's the impact these two settings have on file size? Well, you'll see off to the side the um, various file sizes for both the Z6 and Z7 at 14-bit and 12-bit and over the various different types of compression. You'll see that dropping from an uncompressed 14-bit file down to a lossless um, compressed 14-bit file, there's a significant benefit down from about 90 megabytes down to 67 megabytes. If you really want, you can drop down to 12, a 12-bit 12 um, setting, which gives you another 20% benefit. And there you've got a 12-bit um, RAW file with no loss of image quality. So you can have quite a significant impact by choosing the different settings. Similarly on the Z6 you can drop from about 45 megabits down to about 22 megabits, so 50% without losing any quality. But which one should you shoot? Well it really is a personal choice um, if you're shooting RAW. If we look at the 14-bit um, color to 12-bit color, well the human eye apparently can differentiate up to 15 to 20 million shades at best. So really do you need 4 trillion um, different shades of 14-bit? Well no, probably not. But if, sh if you're shooting at the boundary of the capabilities of your camera, you're perhaps shooting low light or high contrast, What's the harm in that additional 20% of file size perhaps? And that may be a trade-off you're willing to make. If you're shooting high speed and frame rate is really important to you, so you're shooting dance or sport, then 
maybe, and if you've got to have RAW, then probably a 12-bit lossless compression might be worth going for, and you'll get more shots before the buffer fills up. For me, most of the time, I'm not shooting at high frame rates, and therefore I tend to shoot 14-bit with a compression, a lossless compression set, because that's the, the happy medium for me, and it gives me probably the optimum level of quality versus compression. And as I said in a previous video, I take the approach that I've got um, images that I shot back in the early 2000s, and when you bring them into modern post-processing techniques, there's a lot you can do with them. Therefore, having probably the best image quality to give you the, the optimum for future post-processing, even if you can't use it today, is the way I go. Let us know in the comments below, what's your approach to raw shooting? What are the settings you've got in your camera? Be great to understand, really understand what are you, how are you using the settings in the modern Z series cameras. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video.